In this video, we'll convert grams of aluminum to moles, and then we'll take the moles of aluminum and convert that to atoms of aluminum. So let's start off with grams. We have 12.21 grams of aluminum. This is just a number I made up for the problem. We want to get that to moles. So when we have grams, we'll go from grams to moles. We're going to divide by the molar mass. In this case, since it's aluminum, it's elemental aluminum, we just have aluminum atoms, we'll divide by the atomic mass. We find that on the periodic table, 26.98. So that'll look like this. So we take our grams given in the problem, we divide that by the atomic mass of aluminum, and note the units are grams per mole. When we do the division, the grams, they'll cancel out, so we're left with 0 0.45 moles of aluminum. Now let's convert moles of aluminum to atoms of aluminum. So when we're going from moles to atoms, what we're talking about is going from moles to particles. Particles are atoms, molecules, or ions. When we go from moles to particles, or really moles to anything, we multiply. You can think of it as multiply, if it helps. So we're going to multiply by Avogadro's number, because one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. That'll look like this. And remember, Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. So when we do the math, moles will cancel out. We'll be left with atoms, and we'll get this. 2.72 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. So to recap, we converted grams of aluminum to moles, and then we multiplied those moles by Avogadro's number to get atoms of aluminum. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.